Hi guys, this is the B5 video on virtual memory. So let's start. Welcome to this educational video on virtual memory. Let's start with the basics. What is virtual memory? Virtual memory is a technique used by operating systems to provide more memory to running programs than what is physically available in the system. Virtual memory is a combination of physical memory and space on the hard disk. When a program needs more memory than what is available in the physical memory, the operating system moves some data from the physical memory to the hard disk, freeing up space for the new data. Here are some functions of virtual memory. Virtual memory provides virtual address mapping between applications and hardware memory. It provides many functions including multitasking, multiple tasks executing at once on one CPU, allowing multiple processors to access the same shared library in memory, swapping and other functions. Next, the need of virtual memory will be explained by Ramanuj. The needs of virtual memory. Virtual memory, also known as an imaginary memory, which we are assuming that we have on our PC or computer. If we have a material that exceeds your memory at that time, we need to use the concept of virtual memory. Virtual memory is a temporary memory which is used along with the RAM of the system. It provides a larger amount of space to the process. Some of the portions are stored in the hard disk. Now let's move forward and see the importance of virtual memory. There are mainly two importance of virtual memory. When your computer runs out of physical memory, it writes what it needs to remember to the hard disk in a swap file as virtual memory. By this method, you can store any file as to in the form of virtual memory if it exceeds the memory space in a PC or laptop. If a computer running window requires more memory or RAM than there is installed in the system to run a program, etc., it uses a small section of hard drive for this purpose, so you can put any file in the hard drive. Address space and memory space. Virtual memory at its core meaning is the address used by the programmer and the set of such addresses is called address space. An address in the main memory is called a physical address. The set of such locations in main memory is called the memory space. Thus, the memory space consists of the actual main memory locations directly addressable for processing. There are two methods by which virtual memory, memory is handled. These are segmentation and paging. Segmentation involves dividing the memory into segments of different lengths and the relocation of these segments into physical address space. Generally, these segments are continuous units and are referred to in programs by their segment number and an offset to the requested data. Efficient segmentation relies on programs that are very thoughtfully written for their target system. Next on to paging. So I am role number 24, Susprit Bharka from Division B and I will be teaching you about paging and what is a paging space. A uh, paging space is a type of a logical volume with allocated disk space that stores information which is allocated in virtual memory but is currently not being accessed. So, paging provides a somewhat easier interface for programs in that operation tends to be more automatic and thus transparent. So basically it is an easier way of programming. Each unit of transfer referred to as a page is of a fixed size and swapped by a virtual memory manager out of the program's control. Instead of utilizing a segment or offset addressing approach, as seen in the segmentation, paging uses a linear sequence of virtual address which are mapped to physical memory as necessary. So there are some paging replacement algorithms as well in a computer operating system that uses paging for virtual memory management. Page replacement algorithm decides which memory pages to page out when a page of memory needs to be allocated. So there are two three algorithms for paging. So first is FIFO, that is first in first out. Second is LRU, least recently used. And third one is OPT, which stands for optimal. 
So these are the algorithms which I used in paging and next will be taught by my teammates. FIFO FIFO stands for first in first out. It is the method of organizing that involves the queuing element in a sequence such that the first element added in a first element to be removed. The FIFO is commonly used as a data structure for managing data that needs to proceed in specific order. It can be implemented as a simple array or linked list where the elements are added to one end of array or list and removed from the another end. LRU stands for least recently used. It is a caching algorithm that is commonly used in computer system to manage limit sources such as memory or disk space. In context of caching, LRU works by keeping track of a huge history cached items. When the cache is full and new items needed to be added, LRU will be remove the least recently used item from the cache to make space for the new items. OPT or optimal in a caching algorithm that is used to determine which item to remove from a cache when space is needed for new item. Unlike other caching algorithm such as LRU or FIFO which is based on a past user's history, OPT is based on a future user. Hello everyone, myself Manisha Bahiram, role number 26. Let's see advantages of virtual memory. It allows the process whose aggregate memory requirement is greater than the amount of physical memory. As infrequently used pages can be reset on the disk. By using virtual memory, many applications or program can be executed at the time. Main memory has a limited space, but you can increase and decrease the size of virtual memory by yourself. Virtual memory allows the speed gain when only the particular segment of the program is required for the execution of the program. This concept is very useful in implementing multi-programming environment. Users can run large program that have a size greater than the main memory. The data which is common in memory can be shared between the RAM and the virtual memory. The cost of buying extra RAM is saved by using the virtual memory. This is all the advantages of virtual memory. Now, disadvantages of virtual memory. Virtual memory tends to slow down your computer because the speed of the hard drive is less than RAM. The switching between application takes some more time. As a virtual memory allocates space on the hard drive, so for user use, the hard drive space become a less. The overall performance of the system is affected. The algorithm for virtual memory is difficult to implement. These are all the drawbacks of virtual memory. Thank you.